Rockwood Rue 21 SS Hybrid Ultralight Camper here from Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, the uh, Rockwood family is the number one selling series of lightweight fifth wheels or travel trailers out there. has been for several consecutive years. Um, the question is why? And that's what I like to hit on in these videos because there's more lightweights today than ever before. So why choose the Rockwood and why choose to bring your business at Haylet's? Those are the things I like to address here. Um, there's a lot of op uh, options and upgrades present in this video. Not every single 21SS is going to look just like this. I'll try to point out those features as we go. Um, for instance, uh, you know, the sapphire uh, skin package that we're looking at here is what's giving us the full cream colored skin with the uh, nice milk chocolate trim here and whatnot. Um, that's also giving us the nice aluminum wheels so that you don't have to worry about steel wheels rusting out on you. It's also uh, including the uh, frameless windows here, which hide the seal under the window pane. Those three things are part of an upgrade bundle that, uh, you know, the unit that we have in stock might look different from this video. This is generally stock footage here to show you what a 21SS is like and the story about a Rockwood, not necessarily uh, the specific unit we have in stock, so please be advised. 21SS uh, is the biggest little camper you can basically find. Uh, every square inch of this thing all basically opens up. So this is the smallest camper you can get to get a full super slide. Now, most lightweights in general, especially hybrids, tend to have um, 18 inch, uh, meaning foot and a half deep, baby slides. This has a full 36 inch deep, true deep slide. That's hard to find in a lightweight and especially hard to find in a hybrid, and here you go. Now we have front and rear pop-out beds. What this is doing for us is it means we're hauling a 21 foot trailer down the road, but we get basically a 30 foot trailer when we get to our destination because your beds are not eating up floor space. Uh, the weight stickers right here. Weight on this is 4421 as this specific RV is equipped. That's pretty darn good for a little lightweight trailer with a big super slide. You know, that keeps this not only within the realm of easy truck towability, but a lot of uh, SUVs as well. Uh, you're going to see power awnings and power tongue jacks like candy on stuff nowadays. You need to look at the, the grade of motor being employed. Rockwood's going to use a better power tongue jack, a better power awning, stuff that's going to work faster, last longer, because it's a stronger grade. Um, construction is a huge difference on any Rockwood, and what's really slick is this little 21-foot hybrid camper is built the exact same way as their 32-foot fifth wheels. It's just smaller. They only build stuff one way. They figured out how to build it to make it last and to uh, make it hold up over time and long-term ownership. And that's what this is designed for. You don't upgrade from Rockwoods. You upgrade to Rockwoods. They are the top of the heap in the lightweight uh, series. Um, you know, I have several other lightweight trailers out there, but... I can't walk up and punch the sides of the slide walls or the rear wall or the front wall or the, the roof of these other brands by and large with uh, basically no exceptions. Um, you're going to see again higher level appointments such as the roof vent cover over the bathroom fan here. There's a full size bath fan, not the little four inch plastic fan and you see that it has from the factory that roof rain cover built right onto it. That's going to, uh, you know, allow you to use that fan even when it's raining outside. Your um, Rue series is the best-selling hybrid out there, and it's because of ease of use features like this. Like, you notice this is all pre-attached. This is all channeled in place. You don't have to pull down the rear bed, and first of all, you notice there's no poles underneath. It's all self-supporting. And uh, you don't have to pull down the rear bed. You don't have to attach the bed ends. You push it down, you throw up your shepherd's hook, which is the rod that holds the canvas top up, and you're done. These are a self-supporting system. Like I mentioned, there's a cable system in here that I'm pulling on that ties directly into the framework, which is what's giving us like a 1,050 pound bed rating. You're never going to put that much weight on here. It's overbuilt for longevity. Um, again, ease of use features. The handles for your hybrid beds are right down here at chest level. They're not way up here. I'm tall. I can reach the ones that are up here, um, but not everybody is. These are easier to get to and they're easy to lock. You know, that way you don't have to worry about them flying open when you're going down the road or anything like that. Uh, the power awning that you're seeing on here is an upgrade that we have added, and we will commonly do that on pretty much any roof that we carry, but not always. Always double check. Um, the, uh, you also notice a full LED light strip running at the base of the awning here. That is going to uh, cast some indirect light and give you a very fun glowing patio that is not going to blind the neighbors if you park next to them. Hopefully not this close. 
Uh, I talked about the aluminum wheels. Let me talk about the axles. This is the kind of stuff most people won't tell you about because frankly most salesmen don't know anything about the products they're selling because most salesmen are not campers. They don't live the lifestyle. They don't understand it. More than half of the folks here at Halitz, myself included, go camping and it makes a difference, you know. Um, so what we're looking at here is most travel trailers and fifth wheels almost exclusively use a leaf spring axle system, which is fine. Rockwood spends 500 extra dollars per axle to upgrade to an independent torsion suspension system. Uh, you need to Google it if you're not familiar or give us a call. Long story short, it's a rubberized shock dampening system. These axles are going to pre-soak road shocks, jumps, and jolts before they get translated into the walls of the trailer, into the windows, into the roof structure. It's yet another reason why these things are built better and last longer. Uh, it all starts from the ground up. Everybody knows if you want a solid house, you need a good foundation. Um, again, better grade stuff, Furion TVs. The reason this is important, because you know you can find a TV at Walmart, right? They're all the same, right? No, they're not. This is specifically made for the RV and marine industry. This thing can be shaken to three times the force of gravity before components fail. It can be frozen to zero degrees and quickly heated to 80 before you gotta worry about it having problems. It's also swing arm mounted. And if you notice, it's actually the entire swing arm that releases from the inside and mounts outside. So you can angle this wherever you want. Like you could have it facing your grilling station over there. The grill's an option that we will usually include with our room models. And uh, you know, you have your, your speaker system right here. So uh, this TV can still connect to your interior uh, entertainment center and you have indoor, outdoor entertainment. And check this out. When you're uh, ready to pull it out, this is all it takes. It's just that easy. Then it just uh, comes in and mounts on an existing uh, bracket right there. I've done it before, it is a little tricky with one hand, so I'm not gonna get cute and try. Um, the uh, door here has a strut that will hold it open to keep it from flying open if the wind catches it. And that's because you've got an awning right here. If this door smacks that awning sideways, it's, it's done, it's toast. Awnings are designed to absorb impact from the top, not from the side. If you push those arms sideways, they're toast and you're repairing them at your expense because that's usually not the kind of thing insurance companies get super excited about. A um, couple things I want to point out. We have all LED lights in here. Now I love that they're using a little old 1-2 uh, camper style, you see that. Um, you know, this is the way lights and campers looked and operated for years and years and years. Did you notice that we um, passed a central air conditioning unit in a 21-foot one-room hybrid? That's pretty cool. Um, that's going to keep it pretty cool in here. And I was talking about construction again. You're not going to get away with doing that in grandma's old camper. You're not. Uh, so, big super slide right when we come in. Uh, by the way, we're looking at what's called the Metropolitan Fabric Decor with cherry finish and a stone print floor. All three of those things can change from model to model. So if our photos look drastically different from this trailer, don't be surprised. Um, the bathroom vent fan is standard. If you see one here in the living room, that is an option that we have added. Always double check our photo and, and listings to make sure that we have the equipment you're looking for. But again, anytime you see the bigger power vent fan in Rockwood, you have the uh, vent cover built right on it. You can see the fins back there. Um, their high to bed sofas are a newer style. It's a trifold memory foam sofa. As far as I know, Rockwood's the only brand using this. They're the only factory uh, utilizing this sofa. They had it custom built for their needs because they didn't want to get rid of the storage below the sofa. So they have a trifold memory foam sofa that still does that. And I'll actually show you how that works if I remember before this is done. You see that there's easy storage below the dinette here. And it, these things come with just a ton of accessories. It comes with um, heating controllers for your front and rear beds. This has heated bed mats. It comes with um, the bunk light fans, a, uh, a water filter system, all kinds of stuff. And did you notice everything is aluminum framed in here? Every darn thing's aluminum framed for lightweight yet rigidity. And that's what this thing needs. This thing has to stay strong and rigid. Otherwise, if it wiggles, you're going to have problems. Uh, your dining table here is totally freestanding. If you want to uh, use it like an island for the kitchen, you can do that. If you want to fold it down and use it like a coffee table for the sofa, you can do that. If you want to um, 
Let's see, take it outside, use it like a picnic table. You can do that. You can do whatever you want, obviously, is the point I'm getting at. All of your windows that you see will open for ventilation, including windows on the sides of the slides. That is a very expensive item. Us, us. Windows and lights are the two most expensive total cost items in any camper. Uh, so if they add windows in the sides of the slides, that's money. The fact that it opens means additional money. These are additional features that other trailers are probably not going to have in this class. A lot of the brands that we carry will have similar features because we tend to sharpshoot high uh, level top shelf brands. But stuff like this, this extra wardrobe closet right here, most brands are going to try to keep this wide open to make it feel bigger while you're shopping. And that that's not a bad strategy, but after you're the owner, you need that storage, man and they build this for the end user. Um, the uh, bathroom here, you couldn't ask for much more of a bathroom in a 21 foot lightweight, uh, but we do have full shower walls, panel surround, and you see that they do give you this handy pocket up here to keep your shampoo and your conditioner so you're not constantly dropping it or splashing it everywhere. And again, bigger fan here in the bathroom. Um, let's see here, let me spin around. Oh, before I even spin around, for, let's take a quick look at the kitchen. So you see that we do have drawers for uh, silverware and whatnot. We have a bigger 22 inch oven versus the standard 16 that you'll tend to find in most things. You have very limited counter space. You, I mean, you have to. You've utilized all the other space of the trailer for bathrooms and slide outs and everything else. So to compensate for that, they've given us a flush mount stovetop cover, which is a glass top, which just looks super cool, as well as a fitted sink cover so that you get that space back for storage. Now your overhead space here, so you don't have to juggle a door open with your head, they put on not one, but two struts to keep that open for you. It's just easier. It's just better. It's easier. Uh, let me back up here and give you one more quick pass because I've kind of been jumping around a little bit. These are great selling models. Um, they also have the highest percentage of resale value in the industry as well. This refrigerator, if you see the retro style pull handles right here, the easy pull handles, that's an indicator that this is a larger seven cubic foot fridge, not a standard six. Uh, in English, it's 17% larger than most refrigerator freezers that you'll find in uh, the lightweight segment of the RV business. This does have a slight cathedral arch to the interior ceiling, not severe. It's very minor. I think it's like a, a two or three inch arch and it's just enough to make it open up in here and feel brighter. They uh, do have pretty good storage pockets up front here. So you do have uh, quite a bit of space to keep things. Now we saw the one drawer in the kitchen. You get a couple more over here. So you do actually have good drawer space around. This right here is your uh, charging center. So your TV mounts on the swing arm here. It can face the front bed. It can face the sofa, the dinette. It can face the kitchen. Anywhere really other than the bathroom or the rear hybrid bed gets a good look at the TV. And they mount it up here high so that you have all this space open down here and you have um, chargers right here so that you can keep your phones and whatnot charged. Now on top of that, you have a, an upgraded stereo system. A lot of brands have Bluetooth, DVD, CD stereos today, but the, uh, this, this series from Rockwood allows you to download a free app on any Android or iPhone, and, uh, Android, Android or iPhone, there we go, and you can turn your cell phone into a wireless remote control for that stereo. It's pretty cool. Um, also, they're including the high def cable here for your entertainment center. A lot of brands have high def capable flat screen TVs, but they don't give you high def capable cabling. So you're, I mean, it, it's, it's a waste basically. Now this cable right here is going to cost you $20, $40 aftermarket and you could go get it and put it in any camper, but you then have to find a way to either run it through the woodwork in the entertainment center, which most people don't have the savvy to do, or you're going to have this ugly cable dangling around the entertainment center of your brand new thousands of dollars travel trailer. And that's stupid. Uh, so, you know, Rockwood goes the extra step for you. Again, this is absolutely geared from top to bottom, inside and out for the end user. Even the TV has more thought into it than most brands. Uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.